Hello, and welcome to Detroit Performs. I'm your host, DJ Oliver, and today I'm at Friendship Circle's Farber Center, home of Soul Cafe and Soul Studio. We'll learn more about this place later in the episode. But first up, Ann Arbor Art Center holds fun and educational youth art camps. We had the pleasure of hanging out with these kids during one of those sessions. Take a look. Through art, kids are able to express themselves and share with others something that's important to them. Art is what you feel. You really try to incorporate your feelings into it. It makes me feel like I have kind of like a lot of power over what I do. Art's like a universal language, so whatever language you speak, imagery, you can evoke feelings and emotions. We love taking the opportunity to, every day to meet our goal of lighting that spark in kids and making them feel really passionate about art and sharing that love for art with them. This camp really develops um, love for art and that's how I got mine. And even if you're one of the youngest kids here, you still get to make pieces that resemble Da Vinci's and Picasso's and it makes you feel like you're doing real art. Are you doing professional art? Maybe not, but it feels like it is. So it's like really fun to see how it turns out. Ann Arbor Art Center offers two different kinds of camps. We have Creativity Camp and we have Clay Camp. And Creativity Camp focuses on multimedia materials, so both 2D and 3D materials. And Clay Camp focuses exclusively on using traditional clay that you would fire in a kiln. Our themes between the two camps always are pretty similar. For upstairs in Creativity Camp, uh, what they're doing is comics and creative characters. So some of the groups are doing comic books, uh, some are really becoming invested in learning how to do character design, how to exaggerate and play with the different elements and principles of art to create cool visual narratives or really exciting dynamic characters. With comics, they can really come up with their own characters, their own environments, a backstory. They're pulling in writing skills, some history, all sorts of drawing and three-dimensional skills. I mean, these kids are so capable of plot lines and all the different twists and turns, and they just go wild with it. Superheroes and comics are pretty cool. I was making onomatopoeia. It's like the words in, in the comics where it like Boom with like all those pointy things around them. I painted Boom. Me and my friend Abby are sharing a comic and it's about this world up in the clouds with all these different creatures. For Clay, it's throwing on the wheel and creative characters. So working on character design in addition to throwing on the wheel. We either choose our superhero or our villain that we want to resemble. We're gonna, we were supposed to make them a cup, a plate, and a bowl that they would be eating something in. The fun thing is they let you take the ideas to the next level and even two levels up. They really let you play around with your character and help you create what you want. I would imagine that if I looked at some of those comics this week, I would see themes that are, that are important to, to those kids and maybe even on a personal level are important to them. My character in is in charge of the whole world and he decides to have a competition between the happiest character and the saddest character and they have like magic powers and they try to make people happy and they try to make people sad. Our kids really do a great job within five days of, of learning a lot. Throwing on the wheel is particularly tricky when you've never done it before. And our kids within five days, most of them go home with five pots that they created during the week. It also helps to have a high instructor to camper ratio. So we have two instructors for 12 kids and so they're able to get the help from their instructors. Uh, and we occasionally have some teen volunteers who are former campers who have um, been in our program in the past and they want to stay engaged with the Art Center. They're all amazing instructors. They all help you a lot. They give you great tips. Art education is really important to the youth in our community because it's such a great opportunity to really invest yourself in something and focus on something and think about process. Process is so important to all sorts of different professions you know, step by step, how do I do this most efficiently and effectively to achieve my goal? Art is like one of those times where they can just sit down and they can focus 
and they can create something. They're not disrupted by any other technology going on. They're just focusing on a project and then they're going through that process of trial and error, trying to get it to work. Um, and then they have a complete project afterwards. And so our kids are so excited for the Camper Art Show on Fridays. You know, the moment their parents walk in, they want to show them everything they made that week and say, oh, mom, dad, look at what I did right here. It's really fun to see what you can make. You can have an idea in your head, but it might not turn exactly how you want it, but it still looks cool anyway. And part of me, you don't have to make it look exactly like what you want it to be because it might resemble something else, but it still can be what it is. The way that we want our camp to feel when kids are arrived is that this is a welcoming place, that everybody is accepted, everybody is here to make art and feel comfortable. From week to week, you get kids of all different backgrounds and experiences and personalities. And by the end of the week, there's new friendships. And I think that they just love the experience here and they keep coming back for more. I want to sign up for this next year. You can learn more about Ann Arbor Art Center's art camps as well as all the artists we feature on DetroitReforms.org.